Hello students, welcome to the online class of SST. Today we will discuss about the mass communication. We have already covered communication. We have already said the meaning and we have discussed various types of communication. Almost all the communications were personal communication. That is we are communicating only to one person. Now, today we will discuss about mass communication. We have already discussed what is mass. Mass means a large number of people. So today, first we are talking about newspaper. You know that every day in your house, newspaper is coming. Different languages, maybe in Hindi or English, different languages. But what newspaper is giving day-to-day -day happenings of the world? So, newspaper, when you get the newspaper and when you read the newspaper, whoever is reading the newspaper, almost all are getting same type of information. So, it is a very good, wonderful method of mass communication. Another thing we can say, magazines in the form of book. It may be coming maybe weekly or maybe within two weeks. But it is also one method of entertainment and information. Now, so newspaper we discussed, then magazines we discussed, then what event? Radio came. Who started the radio? Radio started by G. Marconi. Guglimo Marconi. What is the benefit of radio? We can hear the information. That is, even though you are illiterate. Illiterate means if you can't read and write. We can use our ears and we can understand that information. So, it is very good method. Now, FM channels are the, this FM, it is providing the entertainment and information for 24 hours. Music, that type of thing. So, many youth, young generation people are attracted by this type of FM. So, Radio is providing that facility also. Now, when we move on to next one, cinema. So, cinema, when it comes. Cinema is also very good method of mass communication. And you are going to see the film in theatre. Or nowadays, uh, even short films are making documentary, we are saying. It is also giving knowledge and entertainment. So, many, many film festivals are the, these short films, all these things are seen. So, cinema is also one method of effective communication. We can understand many, many cultures. All these things through the various films. We can see the things. So, it is more influential. Now, next one it is television. Who invented television? Jail Bird. B-A-I-R-D. Bird. What is the benefit of television? We can hear also and we can see also. So we are using more sense organs. So this will be kept in our mind for a long time. So this is also a very good method of mass communication. Now, advertisement. You may have seen that in between the programs, you are seeing different type of advertisements. Some advertisements, you may like it. Why advertisements are giving? If any new item is 
made in the made or if a new item comes in the market people may not be knowing it so through the advertisement they are giving the idea or information about the new things its qualities so many people are influenced by this advertisement and many people are buying that thing for example if it is the film actor or actress are doing the advertisement maybe the advertisement of soap or anything fair and lovely or anything then many youth are inspired by seeing these things and they are buying these items so advertisement is also another good method of mass communication so we have discussed some first one newspaper we told then we told magazines then we told radio then cinema television advertisement this all we can say that they are the methods of mass communication mass means information is passing to a large number of people at one time at the same time now one more is the computer email everything that we will discuss tomorrow thank you